flexor tendon repair. This patient cut both of the tendons of the ring finger. I'm only going to show one repair in the interest of time. I make a mid-axial incision. This scars less and inhibits motion less than some of the other incisions. I dissect down to the tendon. You can see the free cut tendon end. I use a core suture. This is very strong suture. It's looped, which allows me to lock it and get a nice multi-strand locking repair. The locking is nice because it locks it into good apposition. I use a core stitch to put it underneath the all-important pulleys, which is the sheath that the tendon needs to go through in order to provide optimal motion and therefore optimal function for the finger. We oppose it. Now I use a second stitch in the same tendon as smaller suture. It's an epitendinous stitch, meaning it goes around the periphery of the tendon. And this makes everything nice and tidy. And it also helps prevent bunching, which would lead to an increase width of the tendon if it bunched, which would make it tougher to go underneath the pulley and would lead to stiffness which obviously is undesirable. Now we're locking the stitch on the far side of the repair. We're going to lock it so it's just opposed but not bunching. comes through again and we will tie the knot inside the tendon so that it doesn't take up any space in the sheath and lead to any increased scarring or stiffness. Now I finish up the tendon and stitch again to keep things nice and tidy. But it adds some strength to the repair. And keeps the tendon at the normal width. Some nice tidy tendon repair. Goes through the pulleys. You can see the fingers bent because the tendons are now fixed. Close it up. All done.